The major announcement for the Master Chief Collection set to be originally announced at South by Southwest event for Halo 3, but it's actually been pushed up along with a Microsoft Xbox live stream on March 12th. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to understand the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some news update information when it comes to Halo and Xbox. If you want to stay up to date with anything related to Xbox and this all the Halo goodness, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because you all know sub boxes have been kind of weird at times. Times. If you enjoy these kind of news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you have anything to say about the video, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. So let's get right into the video here. So as 343 originally hinted at a few months ago about saying how there's going to be a big Master Chief Collection announcement happening at the South by Southwest event happening next weekend, March 15th through the 17th. Uh, which I will be attending, so I definitely will be looking forward to that. I'll be definitely covering as much as I can about that. We'll probably release a vlog or something like that. But there has been a lot of speculation on what this announcement may be, as we all know that the content browser is you know, in development, but hasn't been released quite yet for the Master Chief Collection. A lot of people have been speculating about Halo Reach possibly coming to the MCC, and a lot of people also saying that in MCC on PC could be this major announcement. So there's quite a few things, or maybe even just the release of Firefight of ODST I've even read about as well. So a lot of speculation, a lot of people just talking about what could the logical announcement be for this. Now my feelings probably be, yeah, probably Reach was my initial idea, but maybe, maybe MCC on PC. Those are my two main guesses I was having for this major announcement. I don't think it would be the content browser as they've already mentioned that. And it wouldn't really be something to, to announce because they've already said they're going to do it. Just a matter of time kind of thing. But this announcement is going to be something new we've never heard about. And so, my, like I said, my main speculation was either Reach or MCC on the PC. Well, what Microsoft decided to do is release that announcement a few days in advance. On Tuesday, March 12th at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of the U.S. that they're going to have a live stream talking about various games like DayZ and uh, One Piece World Seeker and of course Xbox Game Pass. But the thing I, we're talking about here is the Master Chief Collection. So they've taken that announcement. I was going to be at South by Southwest. Put it into this live stream. And how do I know it's going to be that announcement exactly? Well, Sketch actually on Twitter today said, "Heads up, we're too excited to wait until HDS South by Southwest." So that Master Chief news we promise is coming via Inside Xbox next Tuesday. We'll continue the conversation and share more information on March 17th during the HDS Invitational broadcast, which kind of lines up with what I thought they were going to do is release this information on the last day, much like how they did the grassroots announcement for the last MCC tournament. Now this makes me wonder, why would Microsoft want to announce something with the MCC that would make them want to push it for original announcement date? Now this is only speculation, but this is my speculation that it would have to do something involving Xbox and pro promoting the Microsoft brand and Xbox as a whole. As we all know that Microsoft has been trying to push the play anywhere where people on PC and on Xbox can play together or for some cross play. Maybe we've, had it, we've seen it with Gears of War, also seen it with Ark, Crackdown 3, Cuphead even as well. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. We have the new Forza games, you've been able to do it as well. Like I said, also with uh, Halo Wars as well with the Play Anywhere system. Where basically you buy it once, you can have it on Xbox and on PC at the same time. Which I think is a fantastic thing to do for these games. It's just a better way to get your brand out there. And so, what is uh, one thing that is not on play anywhere for halo that could possibly be be on pc well the master chief collection now i did watch a youtube video a long long time ago where there was a rumor saying that there was a working smart working build of the mcc on pc but it just never was released due to the poor state the game was released in could you imagine you know releasing mcc the way it was released and then like a couple months later releasing the pc version yeah, that wouldn't go over very well. So with Microsoft trying to push the Play Anywhere on their first party titles, that it would make sense to me that if they're going to push up this announcement, if it's not just specifically Halo, even though this, yes, this, is pos this is all about Halo when it comes to Master Chief Collection, what I'm saying that it's something beyond just renouncing and saying like, 
content browser or maybe adding Matt or adding Halo Reach to the MCC because that's more Halo specific. Moving the MCC to the Play Anywhere system that we can play on PC or on Xbox would have me believe that this would me something that could help promote the Xbox brand, meaning you'd want to announce this on your big inside Xbox news drop, which would kind of help show how awesome Xbox and Microsoft is. Well, that's just kind of my my tin hat or tinfoil hat theories behind this whole thing. But I just feel like there was one the one of the two main options. I say it was either going to be Halo Reach or it was going to be Firefight or it was going to be MCC on PC. Now moving the announcement you know, a few days in advance to be announced by Xbox makes me believe even more that the MCC will be coming to the PC. Now, will it fall under the Play Anywhere thing where if you have the game already own it, you can play it on PC or will we have to rebuy the game? We don't know anything about that. All we know is that this announcement that was originally set at South by Southwest has been moved up to Tuesday, March 12th which I would really hope there's some legacy transfer over with any play anywhere system with this because I would feel it'd be super lame of Microsoft to not only have us buy this game and drudge through the years of poor performance of the Master Chief Collection and then have to rebuy it on PC. That would be a bit of a bit of a jab right there since if you buy any of the play anywhere games right now for a one-time price, you get to play it anywhere, which would be really uh, unfair, I think, to a lot of legacy MCC owners such as myself. Now, I'm not the only person who actually has thoughts about the MCC being on PC. Brad Sams, if you do know him from Thurot, or Thoreau, however you want to pronounce it, is that this guy kind of has a lot of Xbox, Microsoft insider information. This was the same guy who tweeted out Halo Infinity the day before E3, so he was able to kind of crack that a little bit just before. Obviously, not the exact name match, but like one letter off gives the guy some break. And also, so he also mentioned about how that the, the uh, MCC coming to PC is a close to release kind of thing. He mentions about coming to E3, but potentially this could be announced at this Xbox live stream. So. Brad Sams has been rather reputable when it comes to his insider information. He did talk about the Xbox Maverick, which is now probably going to be called the Xbox One S All Digital Edition video I made previously about how this can be a discless free console. This guy has his ear to the ground when it comes to anything Microsoft, so I would take his word not exactly as accurate, but you get a pretty good idea of what Microsoft is going to be doing. Now, can you imagine the MCC on PC? And of course, when I first thought about this, I'm like, well, I already have the game on Xbox. Why would I want it on PC? Well, one thing, the great thing about this, is if you brought the MCC to PC is one, PC players finally get a chance to finish the fight that they've never been able to do. The last Halo game that was on PC, if you don't count the Halo 5 custom game version, the last full game that been on PC was Halo 2 back in 2000, I think it was 6 when that PC version was released, don't, you know, don't quote me on that one. And another thing is that it helps kind of build that PC audience for when Infinite comes out, because we do know that Infinite has been confirmed to be on PC. So what a better way to build your PC player base by bringing the MCC to PC. And another reason why you'd want to play on PC is one, higher frame rate. So hopefully we have uncapped frame rates. Now, there are issues with engines that get locked with frame rates, and that could be something that may be happening with the updates with the MCC. I doubt that, but we can see what would happen. Can you imagine playing MCC on like 144 hertz or 130, 120 hertz monitors with 4K resolution on your PC? Because since these games are older, they can definitely run on lower tier hardware for sure. And again, help build that PC community up before the release of Halo Infinite so they can start off running into the game rather than just brand new audience being built as soon as Infinite gets released, which would be a lot harder to build a community around that. And we do know a lot of people want Halo on PC. Can you might remember back in the summer of last year with El Dorito mod that it was basically Halo 3 on PC, and you know how many people jumped on that? A lot of people jumped on that, and a lot of people got banned because they streamed El Dorito on PC. But that's, you know, that's what, that's what happened right there, and I'm sad to see that happen, but I'm guessing it's probably because they want people to be thirsty for MCC on PC, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting that announcement on March 12th. So you guys, that's everything we have to talk about. MCC potentially coming to PC, that's my main guess when it comes to this. 
movement of the date to March 12th before the announcement at South by Southwest. So we got that to look forward to. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below. What do you think this announcement is going to be for the MCC? And if you guys are new to the channel and missing any content from me, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. If you missed any videos from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.